All right, everybody. Shalom. We're going to be continuing to read the Torah reading for this coming Sabbath. We're up to chapter four of the book of Numbers. This week's reading was Numbers 1 to Numbers 4, verse 20. So we're not reading the full chapter 4, but we're reading to verse 20. Hallelujah. And Yah spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying, Lift the heads of the sons of Korlith, or Korhith from among the sons of Levi, by their families and by their father's houses. From a son of 30 years and upward, even until 50 years, all that enter upon the service to do the work and intent of meaning. This shall be the service of the sons of Korath in the tent of the congregation of the Holy of Holies. Aaron and his son shall come in when the camp pulls out and shall take down the veil of the hanging and shall cover the ark of the testimonial with it. And he shall put a covering of dungan skins on it and shall spread a garment entirely of blue on top and put, shall put in its staves. And they shall spread a blue cloth on the table of the showbread and should put its dishes and spoons and bowls and cups and drink offering and the continual bread on it. And they shall spread a cloth of scarlet over them and shall cover them with a covering of dungan skin and shall put in its staves. And he shall take a blue cloth and shall cover the menorah of the lamp and the lamps, its tongues, its fire pans, and all the oil with which they minister to it. And they shall put it and all its vessels into a covering of dungan skin and shall put it on the bar. We're up to verse 11 now. And they shall spread a blue cloth on the golden altar and shall cover it with a covering of dungan skins and shall put it in its staves. And they shall take all the vessels of ministry with which they minister in the sanctuary and shall put them into a blue cloth and shall cover them with a covering of dung and skin and shall put them on the bar and they shall remove the ashes of the altar and shall spread over it a purple cloth and shall put on it all the vessels which they minister around it the fire pans, the hooks, the shovels, and the bowls, and all the vessels of the altar. And they shall spread a covering of dugan skin on it and shall put it in its staves. Verse 15. And when Aaron and his sons have finished covering the sanctuary and all the sanctuary vessels as the camp pulls up its stakes, and afterward the sons of Korath shall come to bear and they shall not touch the holy thing that they may not die they are the burden of these are the burden of the sons of the uh, burden of the sons of Korath in the tent of beating and the oversight of Eleazar the son of Aaron the priest shall be the oil of the lamp and the sweet incense and the continual food offering and the anointing oil he shall oversee all the tabernacle and all that is in it in the sanctuary and its furniture and Yah spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying, Do not cut off the tribe of the family of the Korhites from among the Levites, but do this to them, and they shall live and not die as they draw near to the Holy of Holies. Aaron and his son shall go in and shall appoint them, each man to his service and to his burden, and they shall not go in to see when the holy thing is covered, that they may not die. Okay, that was the end of the Torah reading for this week. That was chapter 4, verse 20. Great way to start the day off with Yah's word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You all have a blessed day. Yah be with you all this day and always. Shalom, shalom.